you girls. Look, I have wormies. <laughs> Who's going to be the first one to eat it? There's one more in there. No? They're like, yeah, they're, it's over there. We'll just eat out of there. See, they're not going to pay any attention to me now because there's food. Have you missed this adorable face? Oh, Chester, do you want me to throw the chocolate? Chester, come here. Oh, he wanted to go get a different chocolate. Chester, come here. Come on. Chocolate, come on. Chester. He's off over there trying to kill his chocolate. You wanted the green one? Oh. So happy. Hey, I think our ghost chicken is laying eggs again because today there's been four brown eggs and oh my lens is all dusty because I was in the coop, coop with it. Um, so I'm just waiting for a green one and that'll be it for the girls for today. I had to replace a hose because our long guy weed whacked through our hose. My cute little purple one so I have to toss that and I do have an extra one that I can use it's a, a Sears one I just have to put it on I just have to get a cup uh, a little bit of that tape to put around the threads on the outside of the hose connection so it's a nice tight seal because I got totally sprayed earlier should have seen it, it was pretty funny good thing I didn't have my camera on <laughs> I turned the hose on and where the brake was, or the where it was cut into, uh, I got totally soaked on one side of my body. It's pretty funny. But since it's warm out, I got dried pretty quickly. Chester, do you want me to throw a chocolate? Come here. Come here. Let's see how inept mommy is at throwing with her left hand. Oh, well, it flew. Not well, but it flew. One more? One more and then we'll go in because I don't want you to get tired, honey. Let, let, good boy. Oh, for anyone who is curious how you see, there's a video, a viral video about a dog doing yoga. This is kind of how. Something off camera is being moved to get their attention. Oh, yeah, that was terrible, Mommy. Alrighty, I'm going to go give him some fresh water and put the eggy in the fridge. All done. <laughs> he knows that. He knows what that means. And he'll go to his little spot and sit in the shade. Alrighty, I better go. I'm not very motivated this afternoon. When the cable people are coming tomorrow, we're getting the new um, Xfinity X1 system, which is like a one-house, house-wide DVR. You can record four, up to four shows and watch a fifth one live, and you can watch your DVR on any other TV in the house with the receivers. And I only got it for the one in our living room and bedroom. I don't need any more. Hey, Chester, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's too funny. He's got some manic about it. So, um, and they actually now provide two-hour windows, which is helpful. So, tomorrow, hopefully, between one and three, they'll come and install that in the living room and in our bedroom. So, we'll see. Supposedly, there's an app for controlling it. But I doubt they have a Windows version of it. I'm not sure why Windows phones are being so neglected with app um, uh, creators because it's, I don't know. It may very well be that uh, Windows and BlackBerry systems will just eventually be gone, but 
since I just got my app phone, my uh, Windows um, 8 phone, I kind of invested. Although I saw the phone that they now have that has 41 megapixel camera built in, which seems to me it could be quite dangerous for me, especially all the food posts that I do. Although I wouldn't mind testing it out. So, um, Nokia, if you are watching, I'd be more than happy to test drive the 41 megapixel phone. It is Windows 8, I do know that. Okay, enough rambling. Actually, no, I'm going to give you some more rambling since I'm negligent in videotaping today because of my busy day. I will pop in that footage that my husband said was too long and too rambly right here. Enjoy or fast forward. I don't mind either way. I don't know if you could see inside. Let me see if I can zoom in. No, I don't, I don't need that, honey. But you see the tobacco... Um, drying in the barn and they open up the slats of the side of the barn to get the air uh, circulating and, at night. and starting at I think in Connecticut starting at the age of four, age 14 girls could bundle you could work as a bundler and boys had to be age 16 to pick the tobacco out in the fields okay. yeah go ahead no you can go ahead so it's pretty cool and it's giant like giant leaves and there is tobacco um, can a Connecticut native cigars made from the tobacco it's here they make it out of the cigars cigars because it's that and look it's on a golf course <laughs> kind of decadent isn't it so that's pretty cool so there's a little bit of our farm local farmland so we're heading home I'm still eating my ice cream and I'm getting very full it's surprisingly filling for, and this is a small, yeah. <clears throat> yikes, yeah, and it was actually a nice combination of having the cheese curds mm. and the ice cream because it gave you a little sweet, a little salty. So here's the scenic, little scenic route on the way home to our house in, um, in the na uh, town right next to my parents and my sisters. My sister and my parents live about three minutes apart. Mm -hmm. three minutes from each other and we live about 10, 12 15 minutes just from enough. them which is yeah <laughs> just as Polly has pointed out it is just far enough <laughs> I think everybody would appreciate that no sudden uh, unexpected and unannounced surprise visits so there you go so oh and Eli Terry that's where my sister went to uh, kindergarten, and that's where Amanda uh, goes to, and Eli will be starting a uh, week after next because they're going back to school. And luckily, the town just voted in full day kindergarten, so he doesn't have to go through the whole right. hassle of after hours or getting picked up like Amanda did um, last year. So it worked out very nicely. My sister actually posted on Facebook uh, a heart, a, a very well. What is that? A pile of bricks or wood um, that they just paid for their very last week of daycare from Mother Goose, uh, which is ironically a Lutheran church. So my sister and her nice Jewish kids have been going to the Lutheran church, which you know Lutheran church daycare. Hey, it's Wisconsin a, Synod. Wisconsin Synod, um, but it's the it's the best daycare, so that's where they went. And after seven and a half years and 536 weekly payments, they are now done with daycare because Eli will be joining. Um, we'll be going to kindergarten full days, and Amanda is in second grade. Holy moly, wow. second grade craziness! So Great. they're off uh, enjoying um, a Cape Cod. A week at Cape Cod, which every New Englander truly enjoys, or most New Englanders enjoy. It's kind of a rite of passage. We always went to the Cape for at least a week or two during the summers. Came back much, much tanner because this was in the days of tanning, and pre prepared to return back to school. So they'll be coming back, and then uh, two days later, they all they start school. And I know that. <laughs> There'll be lots of celebrating amongst parents who are sending their kids back off to school. So, we're heading home. I'm going to check out what 
garbage. What? <gasps> we left a bag of garbage in the kitchen. Oh man. That wasn't the lobster. No, the lobster I took out last night into the canister. But that's the garbage from my office. You know Moses probably... Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see exactly what kind of damage Moses has done while we, while we were gone. Uh, yeah, Moses, he's very, very loving, but he's also kind of like a... Doo -doo -doo. He's, and we'll know exactly if he's been naughty because he'll be hanging out in the window and he'll jump down from the living room window and hide because he will have been nutty. So, naughty, not nutty. But he is kind of nutty, too. All right. All right, wrap it up and uh, we'll see if there is any damage. There's proof that ghost chicken is finally laying eggs because we've had four eggs, four brown eggs, excuse me, today. Um, and we only have four chickens to lay brown eggs, so there you go. She's back and feeling better. And yeah, those are green beans from the garden, so I'm going to wash the eggs and maybe saute the green beans for dinner. Check out what I just got in the mail today. I ordered this from Amazon. It was a um, gold box deal on Friday? Saturday? I don't remember. <laughs> it's a two pack of um, silicone baking mats. Brand new. And it's a half sheet size. I have um, two or three half sheet size. But, you know, periodically they need to be kind of refreshed uh, because they. Um, well, definitely non-stick, but I like to keep one for savory and one for sweet. Just seems like the savory stuff gets way stickier for some reason. And these are by the Artisan Metalworks. I know it's not metal, but... And the size is 16 and 5 eighths by 11, and it's a pack of two. So, I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I'm going to have time to use them today, unless I use it on my yogurt marinating chicken for dinner tonight so let's see oh and good news ghost chicken laid an egg she has been traumatized since we lost nugget which was june 2nd she just finally laid an egg today and the only reason i know that she finally laid an egg is because we have five chickens one lays green egg and four lay brown eggs and today They've been four brown eggs, and I check the coop every few hours, or every several hours. Um, so I know that this morning there were no eggs, so it's not like it could have been left over from the night before. And each chicken can only produce, it takes a chicken between 25 and 26 hours to produce an egg. So it's not like one of the chickens could have produced two eggs in the same day. So there you go. Ghost chicken is back, and her combs are pink and lovely instead of being scary white like that's why we nicknamed her ghost chicken all right i'm gonna go check in on them see if there's a green egg it got really quiet so they might be just napping after their snack of mealworms otherwise i'm hoping not to stay on work too late it's already 4 30 in the afternoon holy moly the day had like totally flew by so it happens when you have a gazillion meetings and everything is urgent for the record, if everyone marks their emails urgent, they all look the same. So they don't stand out. And I wish I could aim it at my computer to show you just how many emails I get that are urgent, but I can't because I need to protect the innocent. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there you go. So I'm very happy about the baking mats. Great deal. It was $13. Thirteen dollars would change, and because I'm, you know, I have Amazon Prime, so it was free ship, free two-day shipping, which is great. And I just had a snack of natural raw almonds, which is a lovely treat. I just literally keep that bag in my office, so when I'm feeling peckish, I can have a snack of almonds without reaching for something naughty. Oh, it's gonna be a very long day. <laughs> Good thing that I plan stuff to cook that uh, the oven will make once I put it in there. So maybe I'll share that with you once I put it in. I am so sorry, the afternoon got away from me. I had one work emergency after another. So I already have the um, marinated chicken, which was marinated in plain yogurt, uh, garlic, lemon juice, salt, black pepper. 
and uh, lemon zest. It's already in the oven, baking, roasting, actually probably more baking, and I cut up some tomatoes and cucumbers and a chiffonade of basil and what might be the largest scallion I've ever seen. Like, holy moly. Obviously, I'm not gonna use the whole thing. I'm just gonna use the whites. I can't even, like, I can't even get it. <laughs> it's hitting my lamps. It's huge. It's just huge, huge scallion. So I have the chickens um, treat box for the morning. All the peelings go to them. I have a few green beans that I picked earlier today. And I will show you what the chicken looks like when it comes out of the oven. We opted not to make the rice because we want it to stay a little lighter. So that's why I'm making the big salad. So it'll be salad and chicken, which is more than enough food. And we still have crisp in the oven or in the fridge. I'm not sure whether Polly's going to be in the mood for it. He's at the doctor's office at the moment. He might have injured his leg, so we'll see what happens. Just waiting to hear from him, so I'm kind of on standby. So I'm going to finish this up and hopefully show you what the chicken looks like when it's done. Well, the salad's done. I'm going to go in the living room, uh, upload at least some of this footage, and then wait for the chicken to be finished. It's just getting color on top. So hopefully by the time Polly pulls in, Polly pulls in to the driveway, we should be ready to eat dinner. Chicken doesn't really need to rest that much. It's not like steak or pork roast or any kind of roast. The juices, um, and funny thing is it said chicken thighs, but it turned out to be uh, breasts. So I got some breastuses when I wanted some thighs. It's okay. <laughs> I make do. Chicken's out of the oven and it's up to temperature. I love using my little um, Thermapen InstaRead thermometer. And we're gonna have some salad on the side. And I think there'll be leftovers for maybe chicken salad during the week, the rest of the week. I don't know, I'm kind of not even thinking of food. I'm hoping that Polly's doctor's appointment went well. So I'm going to call it a night and end it here. I hope you enjoyed kind of tagging along with me in my little household adventures today. I didn't run any errands today because I worked late and then, well you know how it happens, one thing after another and then you realize it's 8.40. <laughs> yeah, that late. So I'm going to edit the video together and post it. Hopefully soon YouTube has been kind of acting up, but I'm not really sure whether it's, I don't know what's going on, I don't know if they're doing maintenance behind the scenes or what the story is. but. There you go, that's today's vlog, day 20. Can you believe it, vlogus, tomorrow's day 21. I don't, like, half more than half the month is gone already. I can't even believe it. Oh, and Polly's birthday is in September, September 5th. And he turns a big number that I think might be kind of scaring him. So I'm um, thinking of doing something special for him, but I want to make sure that he's in, in a good mood. So there you go. Today's vlog comes to an end. I'm going to go relax, wait till he gets home, and then we will have dinner, and he'll probably go up to bed after a shower. And I will... Oh, I have to prep the stuff in front of the TV for the new cable box tomorrow. So I guess I have a couple of things to do uh, tonight before turning in. So um, depending on how quickly I finish it, I might take a nice little leisurely bath and then go up to bed because I have an 8 a.m. meeting. Who schedules 8 a.m. meetings? Don't people know we don't get going to like 9-ish, 9.30-ish, post-coffee-ish? All right, I'm going to stop rambling because Polly says I already ramble. Oh, hello, Chester. Alrighty. That's it. Don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and it helps me out. Share if you find this interesting. Add it to your favorites. You know, you know the drill. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.